Grand Riser family. I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, <clears throat> where we talk about these intangible coins at all times. Family, listen, I'm still offering this advanced crypto class, right? Um, all you have to do is email me at maxcryptonews at gmail.com or bmac252.sf at gmail.com. And you will get access to all the classes, the latest one, SEC, the bully on the block. Um, the other class who own the keys, introduction to cryptocurrency, uh, supreme mathematics, uh, regulations, good or bad, crypto tsunami, state of emergency, and Bitcoin, the first wave, the similar rise of altcoins. And you will also get access to the newest class that I will be giving out tomorrow because I want us to go into the new year with a plan going into the 1st of January. So I will be sending out a new class tomorrow to everybody that's in the class to help us prepare going into the beginning of January the 1st. We can expect to see a lot of new things start happening going into the new year family. Also, if you're not subscribed to BitMax on YouTube family, make sure you go click BitMax on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also give a like, like it, like the video, thumb down the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the content family, right? With that being said, um, we're gonna jump right into this family. Um, let me stop sharing my screen. Let me start back over it. And we're gonna jump right into some news today and what's been going on. First off, family, we're gonna start off with um, Bitcoin. Well, before we go to Bitcoin, let me um, tell y'all about Apollo FinTech again. This is another um, growth coin um, that I showed y'all about yesterday. This is a gold secured currency. It's the world's first growth coin, the GSX coin. Family, listen, I'm telling y'all, this is something that I'm very bullish on and I think it has a lot of potential. It has a lot of upside and a lot of potential with this company, family. Um, I'm going to have the referral link in the description. Um, if you use my referral link, you will get 5% um, extra coins, depending on how much you buy. So if you buy $50 worth, or if you get 500 coins, then you will get an extra 50 coins just by using um, the link that I'm providing family. But um, this is something that I really believe that we need to pay attention to. I'm paying attention to. It's very similar to a stable coin, but the difference between a growth coin and a stable coin is a stable coin stays at a dollar and it doesn't go no further. With this growth coin, the more assets it obtained, the more gold it retained, um, the more platinum, the more assets that it retained, the more the coin will grow. So now this is where you're going to have a digital currency that is backed by the minerals and the gold and the gold mines that it's going to acquire. So it's going to really give this coin the opportunity to grow because it's backed by something, family. I'm telling y'all, this is something that it just looks very promising. Um, when you look at the um, social responsibility, as far as the company, how they talk about their fair wages, the benefits, um, the education, you can come and look at all this stuff, uh, the nutrition, uh, how the environmental, uh, environmentally friendly, also um, with the the mines and how you're gonna be able to look at the mines. They're gonna have 24/7 um, video footage, so you can tap in. Actually, you can, and also you can actually go to the mines if you want to travel. Like if you are on, because you are basically part owners. You're gonna own shares of this company. Um, you can see. You know, you can come here to view uh, how they doing the mining. Um, they got the video. They also have their white paper where you can look at the white paper, right? I, I pull it up for a quick second, you know what I'm saying? And look at some of it. But in their white paper, they detail everything about the company. It's detailed in the white paper, right? So everything that you wanna know is in the own um, white paper. And you just, you know, you basically want to um, read it at your own 
at your own leisure, right? But it's saying that Apollo FinTech owned the rights to thousands of acres of minimal rich land in Southern Africa family. So this is where, although Apollo FinTech has projects developing in South Africa and Zambia, Zimbabwe will also be a focal point because it has the second largest gold reserve per square kilometer in the world. So they are trying to get land on the continent so they can extract the minerals from the land like a lot of companies have been doing. Um, you know, whether it's good or bad, but at least with this company, you have the opportunity to be become a part of it and actually own shares of the company, right? And with shares, you do have say so. You have voting rights. So um, it's something to look into, especially if you accumulate over a certain amount of shares, right? But um, you can look at this, you can read the family, um, you know, creation of the GS growth coin. This is what they're doing. Um, value, valuation of gold rich land. Now they're holding an initial coin offer. Next, they're going to start the mining of precious metals, reinvest in re infrastructure, land and expansion. And then they're going to do the bonus distribution between all coin holders. So like all coin, coin holders, we'll get a distribution of whatever the funds that are left. You know, we will get the, we will get paid these dividends yearly or maybe more than once. Because when you keep reading, it talk about possibly getting paid um, more than once a year in dividends, right? But you can come here and read this on your own, family, right? Also, um, I wanted to bring back, I had mentioned the um, 1,000 um, coins, 100,000 coins for $100 challenge. And family, I found a coin um, that is actually an OG coin too. It's called Funfair. Right now it's um, 4,031 Satoshis. And Funfair is an OG coin. Uh, it's been around since 2016, 17. Yeah, it's been around since July 2017. The all-time high has been close to 20 cent for this coin. Um, right now, it's at it's it's not even half a penny. This is one of the coins that you can get at least a hundred thousand of these for probably a, a hundred dollars. You spend a hundred dollars, you can get a hundred thousand of these easy, right? Then also, what's good about Funfair, since I have y'all here, is Funfair is a gaming coin, right? And it's a blockchain solution for gamers. Now, off top, in the United States, we cannot use this gaming coin because they don't allow us to use it in the United States. But when you come to the website, you can go to the casinos, right? Because they have, it's a lot of games, family, right? And But for United States, only thing we can do is play the demo games because Right now, it's banned in the United States. But this project is already finished, family. This is a finished project. It's not something that you're waiting on. It's finished, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to play some games. Right Introducing the best in blockchain gaming. Because of our blockchain technology, we can guarantee fairness. State-of-the-art, provably fair games. Never lose custody of your funds. All wins paid instantly and in full. Blockchain gaming has never been more fun or more fair. It's an easy sign-up. No messing around with private keys or seed phrases and no downloads. What are you waiting for? Sign up today. So y'all can see, uh, that's that's already it's set up, man. They got um, we're gonna go to some games real fast, All right? I ain't gonna sit here and play a lot of games, but I just want y'all to see, like they got slot machines. So if you like to do slots, right? Um, this is a cool one. You can play the demo because we're. <laughs>
you can choose how much you want to bet. No, I'm betting the max, right? I ain't gonna play with it. We got Haru over here. Uh -huh. I just want y'all to see this is a finished product family. Um, I don't know why it haven't took off like that, but you know, you got a lot of different type of games, Shamrock Riches. Um, you can come here and you can play these demos, but if you overseas, they actually <laughs> See, man, this stuff is already set up. Casino, you like you like to play blackjack, 21 blackjack, poker, roulette. Look, three card poker. You know, they already got it. Video poker, let it ride poker. You know, like this stuff is already a like. shut down <laughs> let me get up out of there right but y'all can come to fun fair man you can check out the games yourself um but the main thing is right now you can get this um you can get the token or the cryptocurrency for less than a penny man it's half a penny so it's easy to get a hundred thousand of these for a little bit over a hundred dollars right and you see the all-time high is at least 16 you know um 17 cent so you know that's that's a good turn off if you're getting some for less than a penny right family so that's something to look into also um before we jump on the big subjects let's get to um um uh, Ned Blue um one of my um partners put me on to this um and it's been on a tear you see it's been up 17.23 percent right um it's it's got a lot of good value. Um, the all time high of this is over fifty dollars. That's what really got me. It's like the all time high is like fifty three dollars, family. So like fifty three dollars at the all time high for this, and, and back in two thousand January two thousand eighteen is that's 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 good. And this thing ain't even a dollar yet, right? So um, there's something to look at. I'm I'm watching it. I'm trying to see how my own. I think um, you may have to use Chainlinky to um, buy it. Um, you can buy it there. and may have to download the wallet from Nebula. Go to their website. 
Um, and you can download the wallet, come here, get one of the wallets downloaded. And, um, and chain, change link is probably where you can go and buy it and send it to your wallet, right? Um, but um, right now, it looks like the price of it is going up. Um, it's to me, it's very undervalued um, to be at fifty four cent. Um, right. So let's get to a little bit of news, right? So um, let's go to Bitcoin, right? We're gonna start off with Bitcoin because um, Bitcoin and kind of like. We're going to work our way into Bitcoin. But first, I want to talk about this. The stimulus payments to begin arriving Tuesday night. So this was around 6.20 last night that this article came out. Pay attention to the timing, y'all. 6.20 last night is around the time the article came out. That the stimulus payments to be arriving um, by Tuesday night, let me play this. See, is it gonna play? Stimulus payments from the most recent. Here right, we go. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said that stimulus payments from the most recent coronavirus relief package could be landing in Americans' bank accounts as early as Tuesday night. Mnuchin said in a tweet that the Treasury Department had delivered a payment file to the Federal Reserve in association with the package and that, quote, payments may begin to arrive in some accounts by direct deposit as early as tonight and will continue into next week. He added that paper checks will begin to be mailed on Wednesday. So, um, so... People have already started receiving their six hundred dollar stimulus check. Um, this article came out around six twenty last night, right? So I've been seeing on social media that people have been receiving their stimulus checks. They were getting them earlier this morning, right? So the stimulus checks are already coming out, right? So we also know that whenever they send out stimulus checks like this, the value, the devaluation of the dollar goes down. And it's the value of the dollar and what happens, Bitcoins take off, right? So what I want to do now, we're, let's go to the Bitcoin chart. Let me see which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. All right, we're going to go to Bitcoin chart. And I want y'all to check something out. I told y'all this article came out around 620, right? So let's get to 18, around 1800. You see? The price of Bitcoin around 1800. It hadn't took off yet. <laughs> you see how this stuff works, family? Common sense, current events, and calculations. You see how it works, right? I just want y'all to see how you know this stuff works, right? So around this time, Bitcoin was around 27,111. $27,111. And it took off. Price of Bitcoin took off because of the news. And we reached another all-time high. Bitcoin reached another all-time high, $28,600, because let's get to around $1,800. $1,800, look at it. Look at the price of Bitcoin. It got up, it was around $27,395. Then it just kept going because of the news, right, family? Because of the news of the stimulus checks coming out, the price of Bitcoin went up. So now, you know, since round three, it's been consolidating. I don't. I believe once the market opened up today, it's gonna start back going back up, right? And I don't know though. Overnight, the market usually does better for us. Like while we sleep, the market is doing better than when we woke, family. But every once in a while, depending on the news. So we will see. But Bitcoin is looking good. It touched another all-time high. It's um retracted a little bit, but it always do this because it's around early in the morning. But the price will, I think, start back moving, right? You can look at on a daily chart and 
uh, whenever the price goes up, I mean, we can pay attention. It's like tendencies. Like, look at this. Look at the timing. AM, 1 AM, it goes up. Right? You get what I'm saying? It really goes up overnight. And then once we start getting to 7 in the morning, what it do? You know, but also it's also depending on the news that we get for that day, the cycle, right? So, but right now the stimulus checks is out, so you can expect Bitcoin to go up. On um, the price of Bitcoin should rise. And with Bitcoin rising, you have Ethereum. That um, matter of fact, let me go to coin market cap real fast. Let's go to coin market cap real fast. Okay, Bitcoin up 3.65% today at 27,741 on coin market cap, right? Ethereum looking good. $724. Tether, you know, what, what Tether going to do. XRP at 21 cents. It done recovered a little bit. But Bit, I, and some bad news, Bitrex is about to um start delisting XRP. But the good thing, and also Ripple actually made a statement. They actually came out and finally said something, which I'm glad. And I'll talk about that a little bit later too. Litecoin at $124. Bitcoin Cash at $350. I slept on Bitcoin Cash. Now, I've been calling it Bitcoin Trash for so long that I slept on it. And um, it still ain't too late. Let me just show y'all some. I may call this Bitcoin Trash because it's never going to replace Bitcoin. But Bitcoin Cash, well, I've been sitting calling it Bitcoin Trash. And it still ain't too late, though. It really ain't. You know. It was around two something. This sucker has got over. Bitcoin, um, the all time high. I just go to the all time high. The all time high is like three thousand and something. So, no, the all time high for Bitcoin cash is four thousand three hundred and fifty five dollars. That's the all-time high. It's four thousand dollars for this. This actually all-time high is higher than Ethereum. Ethereum has never got that high. So I think I'm gonna have to start giving a little more respect to Bitcoin Cash. So you got Polka Dot that has really been on a tear. Polka Dot has been on a tear at seven dollars fifteen cent. Um, ADA is slowing down. Um, it's down a little bit. It's been on the tear, but it's kind of like pulling back. Um, Binance Coin at thirty-seven dollars ten cent. Chainlink at eleven dollars and thirty-four cent. Um, I fomoed in on Chainlink a while ago. Though I bit the bullet, man. I learned though. Um, Wrap BTC at twenty-seven thousand six hundred thirty-six dollars. Bitcoin SV at um, $162. Let me see something about Bitcoin SV. Let's see what Bitcoin SV all the time. Let me see. Okay. Well, wow. three. 357 for um, Bitcoin SV. That product was right after it had a half, right after it had probably done it. Um, Stella at 13 cent, it's still moving downward. Monero, $160, EOS moving downward, 257. Nim, 517, 
I mean, it's down 5.17% moving downward. Um, but everything is going to start moving. We're going into the new year. As far as um, dog coins, they're going to start catching up because it's a domino effect. Bitcoin goes up, they use the Ethereum, and then it's going to trickle down to everything else, family. All right, so Celsius. Celsius at $5.75. Remember, Celsius was $5 yesterday. It looked like today it may touch six dollars. Celsius is moving, family. Um, Celsius is on a tear, right? Um, B chain, um, almost at two cent. Dash, mad dash, still at a hundred dollars. You want to get you some dash, family? I ain't gonna say it too many times. You want to get you some dash? Um. All right, so let me let me see about um the grail, thirty five cent. I'm waiting for it to get under twenty. Need to get under thirty, like twenty five, twenty cent for me to get in. I ain't four more in. Like everybody else. Nexo at fifty four cent. Nexo taking a beating. Oh, uh, they got some good news coming the first of January though, so that's gonna help them out. All right, so all right, let's go to a little bit of news now. I know y'all saw this story yesterday about the NFL player, um, Panthers, um, to be paid in Bitcoin. All right, and this is this is um a little bit misleading, family. Because he is not being paid in Bitcoin, but what he is doing is he, he's going once he get paid, he's going to transfer his money into Bitcoin, and he's using something called Zap. So basically, this this was a promotion for Zap because he was tweeting a lot about Zap about the Zap platform. And that's what it is. Uh, he not getting paid in Bitcoin. He's going to get paid in cash. Um, but he's going to transfer his cash into Bitcoin. And he's going to use Zap to do it right. So I was looking on Twitter. And he kept tweeting about Zap. This right here. He kept tweeting about Zap. And so I went and looked into it, looked into and see what it is. Oh, this is something that you can download. Zap is basically an app that you can download, but I ain't downloading it. But if you come, <laughs> but if, <laughs> hey, people be doing some crazy stuff, man, but it's all good. Everybody promote how they promote, right? But um, if you come to Coin Market Cap, you can you can search Zap and see what it is. You see the price is at nine cent. Um, so you can see it had a pump. This was back in September. It pumped, and so let me take this off. Right, so it had a little pump, and it's basically to me somebody trying to pump it up. I don't know if him and the owner. Let's see the all time high for Zap. I don't know if him and the owner got something going on with their buddies or something. Because I was reading a little bit about it. Or oh, a dollar, a dollar and nine cent. Hey, go up a dollar. If you can get this thing at nine cent. And they go up to a dollar nine. You you looking good, but this was when eighteen. And yeah, this coin came out. But see a coin like this, I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. A coin like this, it had a lot of potential until it hit the market. As soon as it hit the market, the price plummeted. This is pre-sale. This ICO price. This ICO price right here. 
And so once it hit the market at a dollar nine, it plummeted. Straight down, bottom fell out, right? And then <laughs> and now it, it then floored. You know, around a penny, it floored. All right. And now it's trying to move again, but that's what's going on with the football player, y'all. So I know y'all been seeing it, because I've been seeing it everywhere. Um, but he um he gonna get paid in um cash and then they're gonna use zap to transfer into Bitcoin, man, right? But um Bitrex joins Coinbase and D listing ripple. XRP follow SEC suit. So let me play. Bitrex joins Coinbase and delisting Ripple's XRP following SEC lawsuit. Cryptocurrency exchange Bitrex announced on December 29th that it will be removing all XRP markets starting from January 15th, 2021. Trading pairs affected are BTC slash XRP, ETH slash XRP, USDT slash XRP and USD slash XRP. The announcement comes just days after fellow exchange Coinbase said that it would suspend trading in XRP from January 19th. XRP's fortunes have taken a significant downturn since the United States Securities and Exchange Commission unveiled a lawsuit against XRP issuer Ripple last week. The lawsuit alleges that Ripple, along with CEO Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson, have raised more than $1.3 billion through what it claims is an unregistered, ongoing securities sale of XRP. Ripple hit back yesterday, claiming that the SEC's attack on Ripple is an attempt to bring down the entire U.S. crypto industry. While denying that XRP is indeed a security as the SEC claims, it also noted that the majority of XRP customers reside outside of the U.S. and that it would continue to operate and support its products in the rest of the world. However, this seems to have done little to reassure investors, as XRP price dropped another 10% in the past 24 hours to 20 cents. XRP had been riding high prior to the announcement of the SEC lawsuit, hitting a yearly high of 67 cents in late November. With 70% of that value now wiped out, analysts are wondering whether this lawsuit could be a final death knell for XRP. All right, so um, Bitrex is going to, they all heard them, they're going to stop and stop you allowing trade XRP on their site. So, right, so it's going down here. So, Ripple vows to respond to SEC attack and amid exchange delisting of XRP. So, I'm going to play this, family. Ripple vows to respond to SEC attack amid exchange delistings of XRP. With XRP plunging in value following a wave of exchange delistings and trading suspensions, Ripple Labs issued a statement Tuesday vowing to respond to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's allegations against the company. The statement opens with the following message. The public and press have only heard the story from the SEC's side, and will be filing our response in a few weeks to address these unproven allegations against Ripple. The statement claims that the SEC is using Ripple to bring down the entire cryptocurrency industry in the United States and that, for years, the company has sought regulatory clarity on digital assets to no avail. Some observers believe Coinbase's decision to suspend XRP in January could be the death knell for the digital asset as Ripple embarks on multi-year litigation with the SEC. Coinbase announced its plans to suspend XRP trading on Monday, a move that was hardly surprising given the exchange's IPO aspirations. XRP has been in freefall ever since the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple for allegedly violating securities laws. This prompted several exchanges to delist XRP to avoid regulatory backlash. Ripple says the lawsuit has already affected countless innocent XRP retail holders with no connection to Ripple. In the meantime, Ripple will continue to operate and support all its products outside the U.S. The statement explained, The majority of our customers aren't in the U.S. and overall XRP volume is largely traded outside of the U.S. There are clear rules of the road for using XRP in the U.K., Japan, Switzerland, and Singapore, for example. As Cointelegraph previously reported, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse believes his company will still succeed regardless of how the SEC chooses to classify XRP. That's because more than 90% of Ripple net users are outside the country. Few within the crypto industry have defended Ripple against the SEC's allegations. Coin Center, a DC-based think tank and champion for cryptocurrency adoption, says it isn't prepared to argue that XRP is not a security. Ripple PR representatives did not immediately respond to a request for comment.
you know, fam, that what we're witnessing with this is the fall of the United States, man. Because the United States is stifling innovations and new companies and stifling growth for one simple reason. They want to pick and choose which new innovations they're going to allow. And the world is changing. The world is changing, man. And that big bully on the block shit is about done. And it's going to have some, some everlasting effects on the crypto community in America. It is because the rest of the world, they're going to keep moving. And America is basically, the SEC is, they, you know, these powerheads is determining which cryptos is security and, and which is not. How, and what's funny is like, how in the hell can y'all determine what is a security and what is not when this is something that came outside of y'all. This ain't something y'all thought of. Y'all are adjusting on the fly to this. Crypto is making you adjust. So how can you be the adjuster and now you trying to dictate what is and what isn't? And you're just getting in that space yourself trying to find a way to wiggle your way in. And these exchanges, I'm telling you, these exchanges need the crypto community, need to bail against these exchanges. Because these exchanges ain't showing no loyalty to the crypto community. They're only worried about the bottom line now. It's all about a dollar now. So it's no loyalty to the crypto community. So the crypto community should rebel against these exchanges. Bitrex, Coinrex, Coinbase, Bitrex, any of them that delist XRP or suspend trading, they need to feel the backlash of that. But the problem is, ain't nobody going to do that because ain't nobody on code. Don't nobody think about being a rebellion. You don't want to rebel. You just want to assimilate and, and get along. And, uh, it's messed up for our XRP. I'm sorry. I'm glad I sold all mine. Like, that's, you know, that's the way we think. Now, understanding that this is an attack on the whole community. And people have to start looking at that like that and stop looking at it individually. Oh, this just is XRP. No, they no. Uh -uh. This is an attack on anything that's not Ethereum and Bitcoin. There's too much money that has been thrown into Bitcoin through this institutionalized money. Bitcoin would not fail. Bitcoin ain't going nowhere. They're not going to allow Bitcoin because it's too much money that has been thrown into Bitcoin. Ethereum is next. Ethereum is going to get to a point where Ethereum going to get over. Uh, I'd say Ethereum will get over a thousand or two thousand dollars, and it's going to be there constantly. Like it's it's not going to be no changing. Ethereum probably going to be a tenth of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin at twenty seven thousand, eventually you can expect uh, Ethereum to start being at two thousand seven hundred dollars. Once Bitcoin gets to um, thirty thousand dollars, expect Ethereum to be at two thousand dollars constantly. You can expect Ethereum to be a tenth. A Bitcoin, I think moving forward, it's going to get to that point. And it may start getting a little closer than a tenth of Bitcoin. But it's going to happen. These are the two they're not going to allow to fail, y'all. And, and, and because it's going to get to a point where can't nobody afford it. The fees on them fees for Ethereum network is crazy. Them fees is outrageous. You got to be rich to pay them fees. $35. All right, yo, they, they killing you with them fees. <laughs> Let me leave that alone, man. But them fees on Ethereum network is off the chain. That's why a lot of people using Tron. Because Tron do the same thing Ethereum do, but there is no fees like that. They reduce Ethereum is killing you with fees, man. They killing you. So Ethereum will be at a point where you don't want to do nothing but store it as a store of value. And then it's really a security. A security is when you're using something the profit to come up as a store of value that you can't use it to spend. See, Bitcoin, even though it's becoming a store of value, for one, you can't sue nobody because don't nobody own Bitcoin. So SEC can't sue Bitcoin. Don't nobody own Bitcoin. Who are you going to sue? 
A ghost? You can't sue a ghost. So therefore, it, it don't matter what they classify Bitcoin as. They can't sue nobody. That's why they ain't trying to classify. Ethereum, Ethereum got, I don't know how they slipped through the cracks, but they slipped through the cracks. But it's being, it's other stuff that can be, you can use Ethereum to do other stuff besides the store value. But these fees so damn high that people going to be like, man, I ain't doing nothing. Let me just get, wait for the value to go up. Well, I'll leave that alone, man. Um, but um, that's that family. Um, so hey, XRP, Ripple. And I'm going to tell y'all, I think that um, XLM is going to replace XRP, though. You know, the little brother, you know, I remember I told y'all XRP and XLM go hand in hand. Well, you know what happened when, when one brother get killed, the next brother take the spot, right? You know, when the bigger brother get knocked off the board, the younger brother had to take the position. So expect XLM to slowly start going into this XRP spot, y'all. XLM. Stella is eventually going to replace XRP. It may take a little time, but that's what's going to happen in the United States. And if you in my class, I've been telling you about what XLM has been doing with, you know, if you're in the class, you know what I've been telling you about XLM and how the moves that they've been making. And it make you wonder a little bit more about that too. On another level. But um, with that being said, family, um, I thank y'all for watching this episode of Max Crypto News. Look, family, if you watch this video to the end, man, thumb up the video, man. Leave a comment. Go to the YouTube page and like it. You know, YouTube goes off algorithms. So likes and comments, family, and, and subscribe, right, to the channel if you like it. If you want to get an advanced crypto class, and family, inbox me. Um. I mean, send me an email at maxcryptonews at gmail.com or send me an email at um, bmac252.sf at gmail.com. And y'all have a great day, family. Um, peace.